All right, here's a quick little update. Uh, basically, I have the Blackberry patch set up. You can see that I got the cornerstones there where the wood just kind of slides in. And I put mulch all around it. So that's looking pretty good. It was pretty easy to do, and we'll see as an experiment which is better the ones that are drilled in with brackets and everything or the ones that just slide in and then of course it's potato sweet potato season last year if you saw my previous videos I had some containers here blue containers but this year I said why don't we do raised beds since I've been doing raised beds here for a while so we've put in a raised bed instead of the containers and the sweet potatoes we went ahead to plant right in there so we're gonna see how that does this year so we got sweet potatoes gonna grow the weather will get hot those will shoot up and they'll climb up this trellis here uh, basically uh, you know we put a little mulch on top that's gonna keep the uh, soil moist during the high temperatures and we got the uh, drip irrigation in here too so looks good everything seems to be fine and we'll just wait for it to grow uh, a little update on the things that have been in the garden so the sun chokes and even the rogue sun chokes over there you can see them are growing as well as the regular potatoes that we planted the plants are getting really tall and and look really good so the original blackberries are here growing they're starting to get flowers now and that's good so we got those in place and then uh, I've gone ahead to in the extra space in the mulch melons basically melons like to run so I figure well why not let them run across the wood chips so I've planted them and we'll see what they can do uh, here's the strawberries they're planted and ready to go in their own bin some more uh, melons and then of course the raspberries are planted they're yellow Queen Anne raspberries. Uh, as we kind of look over here, we I put down some more irrigation, and we got some room here to do more things. So I put some cucumber plants over there, and there's a rogue strawberry I just left in there. So we got that going uh, in the back row, peppers and um, eggplant. Now we had some up and down weather, some cold and some hot and cold and hot and so I think it kind of stunted these guys a little bit but they got green center so it looks like they're maybe catching back again and finally gonna catch up so that's good uh, coming over here the garlic looks to be doing fine and then of course the main beds here uh, the peas snap peas are doing really well um, I've got Swiss chard and beets coming up here breaking through the mulch I've been thinning that out as I see it come up and then in the back here we have more tomatoes and peppers and so I think maybe they're starting to catch uh, because like I say you put them out early you hope that you get an early start but then some of these cold days kind of you know stunted a little bit in the back row here since I got this space I Put some watermelon I figure all right let's utilize the space we can have those vines thread up and down the back here we'll see how that works so you know spring is in full gear let's hope that the beans and everything else here start to catch and grow I'll be putting seeds out so we can then replace the things that we plant with or that we pick with new plants so that's gone and done really well the flowers look like they're catching, the roses are catching, flowers that I've planted are doing well. As we come over here, the tree is getting color around it as we put little plants around it. So that's doing good. The Egyptian walking onions are building tops. We've got the herbs here in front that hopefully are catching now and greening up again. Put them in early and I think they suffered a little bit. Uh, the cucumbers the same way. Uh, but they got green center, so that's good. And hopefully they're starting to get big and strong and vine up. And the 
side beds here that always get shade now they're starting to be sun so again things that I planted were a little bit caught by the cool weather but they seem to be catching now and then the potatoes I have some extra potatoes so I put them here in the front in the empty space so we'll see how they do so anyways things seem to be moving well and so this is our garden update for about the middle of April uh, 2018 for the spring talk to you soon